You ever wonder if I were here? It's one of life's great mysteries, isn't it? Howdy, stranger! Come on a little closer. A little bit closer now. Let me tell you, I got a cure for what ails you. Wet ears? Pickled forehead, persistent urge to cover yourself in garlic butter and sleep in a race car bed? Well, oh boy, oh boy, do I have the perfect game to saddle you with, er, I mean, we're playing snake oil. <laughs> what the fuck was that? In this comparison card party game, yours truly and my fellow upstanding legitimate salesman will pitch crazy, mm, no, hold on, how should I put this? Necessary product innovations to the mark. I mean, Rube, er, I mean, the valued customer. Every great idea has an inspiration and ours will come from a handful of random word cards that we will quickly combine to create zany new essential products. Then we'll each have 30 seconds to pitch those products to the player, assuming the role of the wacky hayseed, er, illustrious patron for the round. Whichever standout salesman is the slickest and sells the greatest number of indispensable apparatus will be crowned Snake Oil Salesman of the Month. Patent pending. Let's play. <laughs> this isn't my mug. That's unmuted. <laughs> Thank you everyone for joining me. You're welcome. You yeah. Snake Oil. Can I get a Can I get a boy howdy? Boy. Thank you very much, Elise, Ryan, Liz, Armando, Jacob. We're gonna sell some products today. So uh, we're gonna start up, very simple game. We're gonna start up by uh, everyone drawing six cards into their hand. Okay. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Oh, 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 oh. Those are gonna be my oh, six, but. Oh, he's oh taking... my God, you're taking. Ryan just. I know, he's grabbing from all over the place. That's how you. <laughs> <He's> uh... <laughs> okay, everyone's got six cards. Ryan pulled cards from everyone else's decks. So Sorry. His better be real good. No, you're and you not. know what? I'm gonna start off as the Rube. I mean, the customer. What else okay. is new? All right. Yeah. So I'm gonna draw a card from this deck. I will be, oh, so easy, a rock star. Wow. And you go through your cards, each of you pull two cards from your hand to create the perfect product for me, a rock star. And then one at a time, starting with Blizz, we'll go around and you'll have 30 seconds to pitch your product to um, me. Blizz? Oh, yeah, Ryan? Uh, sorry, the rules say anybody can go at any time. Then go at any time, Ryan. Oh, no, no, I, I'm not ready yet. It's All right, then time. Blizz will go. <laughs> Ryan, no, maybe you should go. No, you I'm not so ready, ready. All right, I'll start this one off. <laughs> James, you rock star, I've got the perfect thing. You need to fill a crowd, I've got the man basket. Mm. Okay. So you just run out of the streets with your man basket, patent pending, and you just start scooping. You grab that man basket, you fill it up with them men, you dump it out into your venue, full crowd. Oh, I see, I see. Of music lovers, hopefully, and it might turn into some kind of incident, but there you go. All right, I mean, great. big profits for you and for me. Great. I like that you said it might become an issue, like you didn't just describe human trafficking. <laughs> no, it's, it's different. It's a different thing. It doesn't seem that different. Yeah, it hasn't right. been invented I'm, yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this one. I'm, so, I, just a little history about me. I've worked in retail for a bit, so I know how to sell something. I worked at Cracker Barrel for three years. Okay, retail right. never been. Story. When you think of rock star, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Uh, I think Kiss, that. exactly. Okay, so I got some tongue butter. Oh. As a rock star, you're gonna constantly use your tongue. I don't know how. I do. Well, you're gonna need the butter for that. <laughs> you don't want your tongue to get chapped to so get that butter. Okay, all right, all are. right. That sounds pretty good to me. I know it sounds cliche, but what do rock stars love? The babes backstage, which is why... Tongue butter. <laughs> hormone fountain. Whoa! Okay. Cool. <laughs> yes? <laughs> What's better than a bunch of babes backstage than a bunch of babes backstage who are just PMS in Oh, hard. that's for them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah, and they're just so... You, are they left or they, they right? Oh, but they're so fertile. I thought it was something else, but now you're just, yeah, you're describing menstruation. Okay, yeah. all right, all right. You sold it on the title and then talked yourself out of the thing. Did I? Did I? Hmm. Did right. I, though? Who's, who's oh, next? That's a, 
I, uh, look, I would buy that. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but the but, real estate, anyone can go at any time. Yeah. James, when you think of a rock star, <laughs> what's the third thing you think of? Well, it that's happens. right, substance abuse. But eventually, you're gonna want to get back out there, get back on the stage, and perform your heart out. You won't have time to drink like you used to. So I've got a solution for you: alcohol gum. The more you chew, the drunker you get, and no one's gonna know because your breath is minty schnapps fresh. Wow, Ooh. okay. Uh, mine also has a chewing component. <laughs> <laughs> Drunk on the go. That's not very rock star. What really is rock star is your chain wallet that you carry around. You know, you got studs, chains all over you, and at your concert, you wanna give a prize to the person with the coolest chain. That's why you gotta give the chain prize, okay? <laughs> what? So at your concert, you're like, you know what, that's a cool chain. You win the chain prize. It's a chain prize. <laughs> For, for rock stars. Tongue butter. <laughs> what? Thank you. I will, Ryan, I will, Ryan yeah. have you ever considered a chain wallet? I think you would benefit from it. <laughs> I think I would too. Oh, do we draw two more? We draw, we draw two, two more. more. Ryan, can you pass me two? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, my God, like a ninja. So you're the rube now. I'm the rube. Even though you <laughs> are also winning the game as the rube. Look, it's really hard being a winner, but tongue butter. All right, I am a witch. <laughs> you know they have two sides, right? I am a politician. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> okay. And I'm trying to win this election this year. Okay, okay. So what's the problem with politicians? Well, they don't stay in Sex power handles. forever. Oh. Well, that's the third or fifth problem. Oh, okay. But you're coming at it from the perspective of being a politician. You want to stay in power. You don't want an insurrection. That is too busy. It's too much work. So what I'm telling you, Crown College. Learn from the best. Colonialism at its finest. Through my college, you will be able to learn how to subjugate an entire group of people okay. pretty much forever. International proletarianism. <laughs> now that's Fuck the bourgeoisie. That's a pretty There's good a invention, but... Well, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, there was those people that whip the votes, you know, in in, oh, yeah, in yeah, Congress. Yeah, yeah. The whip, yeah, yeah, yeah. the whip, yeah. you mean the whips? No, it'd be cool what if for the whip to have yeah. a snake whip, a actual literal <laughs> physical snake whip. All right. Uh -huh. No one really listens to the whips right Who now because they don't have a snake whip to uh, threaten people. Who am I using this on? The people. Are the people that you're trying to whip the votes up. You're going, hey, we need <laughs> with a snake. We need your vote for this amendment on our bill. I, that, that is a hard contender Thank right there. You. And that's my invention. <laughs> oh, Moving God. on. Well, okay, I, can I jump in here <laughs> yeah, for a second? Because I think we're, we're underestimating how endangered politicians are. Yeah. People are always chasing them down, trying to assassinate them. Yeah, okay? I agree. And especially with what you could do to change this country, it'd be terrible if something like that. And that's why I'm suggesting armor tattoos, oh. okay? Hmm. It's tattoos injected with titanium. So you get the benefit of a tattoo, but someone comes at you with a weapon. Tink, tink, tink. You deflect the shots. John Wilkes Booth, more like John, uh, you got it. he shot. Abraham Lincoln had a tattoo of a naked girl on the back of his head and survived. How's that cool. sound? What about JFK? What was his tattoo? Oh, he's dead. All right, that's a that's a tough one right yeah. there. It's a tough one. Before we hear from Jacob, yeah. I just want to tell you that as a politician, it's very important that your persona uh, attracts people. Uh, yeah, some of that comes through propaganda. Some of that comes through t telling your own narrative here. Yeah. Which is why nothing is more important than having a great baby story. That's. Babies and get votes. Babies get votes, but also it's, do we have any skeletons in our closet as a baby? No. Do we? Because my company, Baby Story, will come in and reshape the past narrative of your life as a baby. We go back all the way to your personal baby story and we write, rewrite it in an appealing way. 12 diaper changes a day, we stricken that from the record. We rewrite your baby is story. True? Is that true? Yeah, you really did 12? that. You're disgusting. 12 is a lot. We take you from wah to win. <laughs> uh, I like the John Wilkes Booth one more. <laughs> <laughs> I like my steak win. <laughs> all right, listen, li li Liz, Liz, yeah, listen. What's up? Politician. Yeah. You're running for office, you want to get all the demographics to vote for you and stuff. Yes. And you've already got the normal voters, like all the, the atheists and the Christians and stuff. But okay. I think we need to get some of those, the, the Satanists as well. But not like okay. the atheist ones, like the ones that actually worship the devil and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I've got a hell prayer. 
for you. Oh. oh. Yeah, so you just get that, get up on your pundit. Wait, is that praying for the devil? Yeah. Well, and, wouldn't I lose the Christian vote? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, all you gotta do is lie a little bit. So who are you voting for, Blue? Yeah, so you gotta so, pick one. I'm gonna be honest, I feel like as a politician, I really want to send out the right message. So I'm gonna go with Snake Whip. Boom, Shaka Wild! <laughs> you made the right decision. You made the right <laughs> decision, Blue. Hell snake yeah. Whip. Hang on a second. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh, pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip the trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit. No worries if you're not a pro in the kitchen, HelloFresh's foolproof recipes arrive pre-portioned and easy to prepare in just a few steps. With HelloFresh, you're getting seasonal ingredients picked at peak ripeness for quality you can taste. Ingredients travel from the farm to your home in less than seven days, so you know they're fresh. April is Earth Month, and HelloFresh is always committed to a cleaner planet. On average, HelloFresh meals have about a 31% lower carbon footprint than the same meals made from supermarket ingredients. Plus, nearly all HelloFresh packaging materials are curbside recyclable in most areas of the US. I love getting HelloFresh, it's such a delight every time I open that big green box and I pull out the recipes, see what I'm gonna make that week. I've learned so many different recipes, like even how to make a pan sauce and add it to like anything. That's like my favorite part is just trying all the different sauces. We've told you about every plate before and they're now owned by HelloFresh with a wider array of meal plans to choose from. There's something for everyone. I like switching between the brands and now you can enjoy both brands at a discount. Go to hellofresh.com slash board50 and use code board50 for 50% 50 off plus your first box ships free. That's hellofresh.com slash board50 and use code board50 for 50% 50 off plus your first box of America's number one meal kit ships for free. You know what? What are you supposed to do? <clears throat> this card had both possibilities for me as a young person. The first one was high school dropout, but the second one is something that I genuinely really wanted to be as a child. Pro wrestler! Whoa! Yes. What yes. product, I just have the body for it. What product do you have for me? So Armando, you show up to WrestleMania this Saturday. You're obviously planning to brutalize and kill your opponent in the ring in front of thousands of people. But that gets a little messy. That's why you need this, a Jello corpse that you can just pull out from underneath the ring. And you can just get him out and start eating him alive like a buffet <laughs> in front of the thousands of people. If you wouldn't want to eat a real corpse, but a Jello corpse, come on, it's tasty. Thank you. That's it. Come on, it's tasty. Come on, it's tasty. <laughs> it's tasty. Being a fan, Armando, you must be familiar with the wrestler Goldberg. Mm -hmm. You know, his big scary guy. He always had this one move that he did where he would like spear a guy from the other side, spear him. Could never lose, right? He, he had a long win streak, yeah. but then he ended Bret Hart's career, so I'll never forgive him. That's not important though, because the one thing that he did, the reason he lost, was he did the spear thing, the attack, but then he didn't do the make good at the end which is why you need the spear kiss, okay? Ooh. This is a special move that my company will teach you how to do the spear and then the kiss at the end. Because that's how you win the crowd over. What did you say? I said, eat. Come on, it's tasty! And that's what be the thing too you would say with the kiss. I would spear him, kiss him, and then go, come on, it's, it's tasty. tasty. Yeah. Now that all sounds well and good, mm -hmm. but that sounds right, real dangerous if you ask me. So you get in that ring, I think you need to have this installed in your ceiling right above the ring there. Some safety sand. <laughs> <laughs> so if somebody's getting above me. Yeah, if somebody's getting rough, you just yank that string, the safety sand comes down. Mmm, it's tasty. That's what I say. <laughs> no, that's what I say. No, I, <laughs> no, I think that's just what I say. Why do, how does it keep me safe? Well, you get covered in sand, you can't move or breathe, so you can't hurt each other. Doesn't it go in his eyes in every orifice? Yeah, but then you can't get poked in the eyes or get your tongue bit because it's full of sand. <laughs> safety sand. <laughs> safety sand. Okay, that sounds good and all. You're gonna be in a situation where someone has you from behind. Mm -hmm. And then Ooh. like, you're stuck. What would you do in that situation? Yeah. I would simply fall back on them. No. The full weight of my body. Consider a fart toe. Oh. oh. If you fart from your toe, it's, it's like an armpit fart, you know? But you can actually make the same noise with your toe. It's gonna make them think that you farted on them and it's going to make them back up. Okay. And the name, the, the slogan of that is, mm, it's tasty. <laughs> <laughs> now, hold on a minute. Mm, tasty farts. Tasty. Armando, I just wanna apologize on behalf of the other salespeople here. Why'd you look at me? Um, Everyone, everyone, because they're only focused on one small aspect of being a professional wrestler, and that's what happens in the ring. Everyone knows your persona 
exists beyond that, okay? It's about how good of a talker you are. It's about how you look and how you feel, and more importantly, your entrance. Mm -hmm. And if you want a good entrance, you're gonna need my dance team. Okay. <laughs> They're gonna escort you to the ring every single time with choreographed moves, pyrotechnics. It's gonna make you look great. No one's gonna remember if you win or lose, Armando, because they're just gonna remember how you arrive to that ring. And it's in style, and let me promise you, this isn't gonna be like those other dance teams that are grinding on each other. This dance team, it's tasteful. Does the corpse come out with the dance team? <laughs> I was gonna say, with my company, you can eat your whole dance team. They're made out of jello. <laughs> They're violinists. We got violinists. Whoa, okay. Yeah, we got violinists. They're doing that while also dancing with their feet. Yeah. Okay, you're walking down the ring. They're doing this kind of shit. <laughs> yeah. You know, following you to the ring. You go up to the turnbuckle. When you pump in line with the music, they go, uh, uh, <laughs> like every single time. It's gold. That's really good, and I like that, but it's also a lot of energy to expend before a match. I just gotta say, mm, that's tasty. Jell-O corpse, baby! Jell-O corpse! Jell-O corpse! Jell-O corpse! Jell-O corpse! Jell-O corpse! Jell-O corpse! Jell-O corpse gives me, I get to be like the fucking boogeyman. That's right. Jell-O corpse is gonna have a heel turn, and you won't be ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Now I'm just wandering into town looking for some new products a as a budding mortician. Ooh. Damn. I've I'm just got just me and my corpses. A jello corpse would have really been <laughs> Tim and handy. Yeah, we wasted that, huh? It would have been real helpful. <laughs> Let me tell you, Jacob, as a mortician, what you need is supply. Where are your clientele coming from? That's why you gotta be living that river life. Okay, we're talking bloated bodies. We're talking submerged corpses, maybe a mafia hit even. You're picking up body parts, and we are taking you there on a two-hour river cruise every day, living that river life. What do you say? And you need a little bit of extra dirt for the uh, burial? Well, we, maybe we hit, we hit the river banks, okay? My wallet's tingling already. <laughs> That's not his wallet. <laughs> <laughs> and also, you know, cosmetology, very expensive. We guarantee a closed casket every single time. The family's not gonna ever want anything else. There's so. no family. Yeah, very enticing, very enticing. Ryan? I'll go. I think as a mortician, you you don't always consider how, how dirty your job can get. Because you you have to do all the stuff, and don't you, you take the organs out, you plop them on the ground, and, and it's disgusting. Things splash up from the bottom. That's why I got you a nice pair of storm boots, <gasps> okay? Whoa. These storm boots, you could wear them in the biggest storm of blood and guts and viscera. It doesn't matter what you're dropping on the floor because these boots will not soak through. You could try anything, okay? Wow. They're made out of genuine beet leather, and, uh, and so, <laughs> Huh? What? Beet leather? Did you say beet? No, leather? I said I said I, I said, genuine beet leather. So that's the thing about these boots is that you can put them through anything, and you could, if you wanted to, you could shove it right in the body cavity itself, pop them out. Is okay? anyone else hearing what I am hearing? What I said? Yeah, what? what? Say it again. Genuine beet leather? No, no, no. What I said? Leather. The shoes are made out of beet leather. <laughs> leather. That's tough to beat. Yeah, it's gonna be tough to beat, and I have no good cards. So we, here's what we're gonna do. As a mortician, what is your main job? What do you do? Uh, deal with dead folk. Okay, cool. So you have to make sure that the dead folks make it to the, the funeral. Why Hopefully. Why not go in yeah. style? Hear me out. Normally, you'd put a, the dead body in a car or something, right? Yeah, or a Consider wagon. handling a rocket. <laughs> Just <laughs> Handle rocket? <laughs> Shoot that body straight to the side. <laughs> Real quick, is it rocket handle or handle rocket? Because I feel like those can be very different things. <laughs> it's gonna be handle rocket. Okay, okay. Right. Right. What you're gonna do is handle a rocket, uh -huh. just drop the body to it, just send it to the funeral home. Wow, so fast. That's so convenient. You're not shooting into the space. No. Okay. Oh, okay, because that could have been a good thing, too. Really <laughs> yeah. Damn, right. that's a hard one to beat. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Why does everyone keep saying beat? <laughs> yeah, that's I keep hearing these little lapses in speech. Now, Jacob, yeah. as you know, I'm sure as a mortician, that the human body is something like 98% water. Right. right. <laughs> no. Now, when all these dead people die, I mean, that's a waste of water. Wouldn't you say? Right? Sure. That's what I thought. So it'd be a shame to waste all that, and we need to juice these people. We need some hand juice, okay? So we need <laughs> these dead people are dying, and they're laying on the thing. We have a machine that squeezes the hand, gets all the juice out of the hands. It's basically water, Do but- Do I drink it? Yeah, you're drinking it. It's a good juice. I can guarantee you these bodies will be filled with 100% natural river water. Yeah, and then that's even more reason that you need my hand juicer to get all that nice river water out so you can get some good hand what? juice. Your shoes are gonna be soaked <laughs> unless you get them high quality beet leather. Think of all the time you just, just don't even think about the handle rocket. There's no point in even thinking about the handle rocket anymore. <laughs> the handle rocket's <laughs> <Yeah. all. laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> oh, Here's all the real ones. Just send a rocket to the church. You're good. The yeah. fuck Hand juice. It's tasty. <laughs> the fucking <laughs> irony of you going, you're wasting so much water <laughs> when you die. All right, Jacob. Yes. When dealing with the dead, what's one of the top things that media has taught us that, uh, that, 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 that that's a huge problem when it comes to that? You don't fuck them. You don't fuck them. You don't <laughs> You don't fuck them. Why'd you say that? Sir? Ryan, no, look me in the so eye. Quick on the draw. You don't fuck them. You don't fuck them. Okay. Yeah. Ryan doesn't fuck those bodies. <laughs> yeah, you don't fuck them. You don't want to fuck them. Taboo. But the biggest problem that I would face is uh, somebody lose their kid, go up to that strange old graveyard up there by the hill. They don't come back the same. You bury them over at the old animal cemetery, pet cemetery. <laughs> so what I'm proposing to you, animal heaven. That's right. Oh, wow. What, what dies stays dead. I don't dead. know, Jacob, sometimes dead is better. All right, then let me pitch you this. <laughs> yeah. Heaven's silence, there's no afterlife. <laughs> it's completely null and void. After death, nothing comes back and we all stay dead. <laughs> Okay. I mean, I, I, I'm very familiar with that concept. And as much as I immediately want, like, my gut says handle rocket. But <laughs> my brain, my mortician brain says that I might be getting a little wet dealing with all these wet bodies. You need even, the hand if I, juice. even if I'm getting from the river and they're full of juice, it's gonna get all over my ankles. I'm gonna need some storm boots. God damn it. I Great, high handling, quality. I think you're handling bodies wrong. High what? quality 100%. stuff. 100%. Not, who cares about the boots when you're a mortician? I'm supposed to fuck them? <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't no, you fuck do them. It's the last them. thing you do. so happy I get to go now. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you ever browsed in incognito mode? It's probably not as incognito as you think. And why would it be? Incognito mode, like the Chrome browser itself, is a Google product. And Google has made its fortune by tracking your movements online. Google's defenses? Incognito does not mean invisible. So how do you actually make yourself as invisible as possible online? You use ExpressVPN like I do. Turns out that even in incognito mode, your online activity still gets tracked and data brokers still get to buy and sell your data. One of those data points is your IP address. Data harvesters use your IP to uniquely identify you and your location. But with ExpressVPN, your connection gets rerouted through an encrypted server and your IP address is masked. Every time you connect to ExpressVPN, you get a random IP address shared by many other ExpressVPN customers. That makes it harder for third parties to identify you or harvest your data. I think the best thing is that ExpressVPN is super easy to use. No matter what device you're on, phone, laptop, or smart TV, all you have to do is tap one button for instant protection. So if you really want to go incognito and protect your privacy, secure yourself with the number one rated VPN, visit expressvpn.com slash board and get three extra months for free. That's expressvpn.com slash board. Go to expressvpn.com slash board to learn more. Oh. Hello. I am new to your planet, and I am looking for business investment opportunities. Why are you doing a robot voice like I do a what? robot voice? <laughs> <laughs> Please, Earthlings, impress me with your fortitude. Okay. Do you have any NFTs? <laughs> Not sure thing where you're from? Not yet. <laughs> I'm an alien. All right. Oh. So uh, I could have been a taxi driver. <laughs> Can you mix them? Oh. Uh, 14 hours in a car every day. <laughs> now my back is killing me. I need a product that will meet both these needs. <laughs> uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Mrs. <laughs> alien. Uh. It's hard to uh, whatever the situation demands. Well, it, it's it's hard to tell, obviously, because of your massive, bulbous, bald head. Okay. And Thank it's, you. It, it's. I mean, I'm sure it is an indicative of how intelligent you are and the light years you've managed to travel to get here. And I think that's very impressive. But here on our planet, you know what we pride? A good set of hair. Oh, tell me more. I will tell you more, and I'll do you one better. I think you should try out our new product, Toy Hair. Okay? <laughs> hair meant for a doll, redirected to my factories. <laughs> <laughs> Where I cut and re-sew it to be much larger. <laughs> Duns of doll hair uh. combined to create one massive wig for you. Well, I may be beautiful. It'll be as beautiful as you want. We can make you tons of different styles, colors, cuts, and styles. Will it fit in the cab? <laughs> uh, yeah, we can even cut it to size to fit the cab. That's very interesting. So Noted. Uh, I'm just saying, if you want to integrate in our society, you're going to want to have a good head of hair. And look no further 
the toy hair. Next human. <laughs> well, I just want to say that uh, that's a good product if you're trying to integrate in society. But I see you a strong, dominating, conquering type. So that's why I have for you Fear and war, baby. That's right, you're going to conquer this stupid planet. Humans should bow before you, and uh, you'll take us all by storm. Yes, this but is appealing to me. If you don't get us through the fear, you'll get us through the war, because I know you came packing with some real fucked up shit. I've seen War of the Worlds, it scared the shit out of me. Oh, can I confirm? Conquering the planet, you're gonna wanna look good doing it. Mm -hmm. I think this is, I think conquering the planet is more important because you can make the rules on what looks good. How will this confuse with our chain of rest restaurants, Fear and War 31 flavors. I think it's a real good integration, actually. <laughs> the 32nd flavor is human. Oh. oh. Oh, okay. Well, you came down to this planet in a, I'm assuming, ship? I was Christ-like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and do, you, do you have your ship with you right now? Yes, I do. It looks like a taxi cab driven by Christ. <laughs> well, that kind of changes. <laughs> no, 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 you gotta no, play him, no. man. No. You gotta play him. Okay, I'm gonna assume that your taxi cab is huge. It's, it's, it looks weird. It looks different. Um, well, this is America. And we <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, Fuck yeah, we hate Fuck anything you. that's different oh, than oh, yeah. what yeah, this brother. man looks like. Yeah. So you're gonna be you're gonna be a problem. People are gonna fear you. Technically, uh, he's mixed. Yeah, he's <laughs> yeah, Latino. I don't know if you knew that. That's not a bit. <laughs> but go on. This changes, this changes everything. Um, you gotta play the card. Yeah, you gotta play the card. Um, so I'm gonna do truck excuse. Everyone's gonna be like, what? <laughs> everyone's gonna be like, why does your I've been look looking like for that. a truck excuse. Come on, they're tasty. Yeah, there's, <laughs> this is a, <laughs> yeah, that's it's a my truck one. excuse. If someone has an issue with the ship you're driving, you can just say, oh, I left my truck at home. I left so. my truck in the atmosphere. Yeah, so like I had to take the Wednesday yachty. Oh, the Wednesday yachty's on Starlux. Oh, yeah. This is interesting. <laughs> because you're also winning. Yeah. Who else will impress Alien? Now, Alien Taxi Driver, what's the worst thing about being an Alien Taxi Driver? You don't have to answer that. I know it's the traffic. It's the sky traffic, right? Yeah, that's what I was going to that's say. That's what you were going to say, yeah. And it is illegal. I don't think you're allowed to use both sides of the cards. But it's OK for you, because <laughs> because of that, I'm going to use three of my cards for a sky <laughs> traffic <laughs> eraser. Do we yeah. play a Ryan Redo card there? <laughs> this is this gets rid of all of the sky traffic. It erases it, in fact. Breaking the rules. This is my no. style. Ryan, you literally could have just done traffic eraser. And it's no, it's the, the sky thing. traffic eraser. Because <laughs> that would be on the ground. This no, is the sky. <laughs> just please don't for me. It's tasty. It's so weird that you were like, I'm gonna cheat and it's still not gonna make sense. <laughs> it's funny that he, he's like, I need the third card, Sky, to establish a concept that I'm yeah. introducing. Yeah. Yeah. Which is that you fly your taxi in the sky, not uh -huh. on the ground. But also, traffic can be anything. Any, it yeah. doesn't have it to be, be on You just Earth. made a fifth yeah. element. Traffic is just a, <laughs> yeah. a mess. Right, and this will erase that mess. Anyway, moving yeah. on, please right. vote for me. Great, good to know. All right, that didn't buy me nearly as much time as I thought. All right, visiting alien, do you like literature? I love to read. Oh, that's great. Do you like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? I like Twilight. <laughs> no. Close enough. Well, I got just the, uh, the prolific, hour. prolific author for you, Road Doll. <laughs> <laughs> run so many other ways with that. Road dog. <laughs> you could have, it could have been something that keeps them company in the taxi. <laughs> Road dog. I love to listen to his books while I drive. Oh my god. I would say that the, the answer here is clear. It is Road dog. Oh god. <laughs> You can't read, obviously. He doesn't even know. I thought I was naming oh, spell. Read. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Road dog. Road dog. Oh. Jesus. I thought for sure Sky Traffic Eraser was gonna take it. Oh, you thought for sure, huh? You, by the way, you've now pulled the you've pulled the parachute. The, the gloves are off. Now that yeah. you've played three cards. No one else is allowed to do that. Ryan's winning. <laughs> Today's episode is sponsored by PayPal Honey. The easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. Have you ever been feeling the impact of inflation? What's the craziest price hike you've noticed? Eggs, gas, six-sided die. With high prices, how does it feel when you do find a deal? Is it exciting? A relief? 
Thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites. When you check out, the Honey button appears and all you have to do is click Apply Coupons and wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons it can find for that site. If Honey finds a working coupon, you'll watch the prices drop. One time I even saved like eight bucks on some socks I needed because all my old socks had holes in them but they've been replaced. Thanks for saving me some money, honey. Did you know that honey doesn't just work on desktops? It works on your iPhone, too. Just activate it on Safari on your phone and save on the go. If you don't already have honey, you could be straight up missing out. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this show. Get PayPal Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash board. That's joinhoney.com slash board. Oh, my, my go? Yep. Okay, go. here I go. Do that one. Perfect. I'm a dictator. <laughs> okay. Sure. No preamble. All right. All right. I'm ready to go. You can start pitching Ryan, whenever you like. Your job as a dictator is very important. It relies on the people trusting you. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And 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 the thing is, to them, you have to be in. Fallible. You can't screw up because they'll, they'll talk about rebellions, uprisings, stuff like that. You don't want to deal with that. You want to be one of those dictators that hits hole in ones on every single thing mm -hmm. and, all, and poops gold, you know? Oh, yeah. So that's why i am got a product for you. It's the mistake worm. <laughs> Explain yourself. I will. <laughs> the mistake worm comes about anytime one of those kerfuffles happen, where say one of your advisors suggests you raise the taxes a little too much, or maybe photo satellite photographs of your giant private uh, golf course mm -hmm. go online and are shared on the social media that's supposed to be locked down well, in your country. all of my people starve? Well, all your people are starving, <laughs> right? Yes, go on. But that's not your fault. <laughs> right. It was the mistake worm's fault. Oh, it's someone I blame all my it's mistakes a, it's on. It's a creature that you are constantly trying to fight back, and anytime something bad happens in your country, that's not your fault. You were just trying to fight back the mistake worm. And because my people aren't educated, because I've kept all of the books and stuff out, because they'll believe author, something as stupid as this. Because their only author is Road Dahl. <laughs> <laughs> Like you have at. the mistake worm, and you can always blame the mistake worm for anything. I like the way Ryan. you think. <laughs> now listen, Ryan, you marvelous dictator, you uh, glorious leader. Thank you. Kiss my um, ring, my hand, please. Oh, before. Yeah. No, go do it. You won't even <laughs> listen. You won't even have to worry about something like that happening, and then uh, then after that, having to go to your mistake worm. What if we could install something in your body that would set off a natural response to an upcoming mistake? or a scare, or even an assassination attempt. God forbid. Okay. What if we installed it in you? I'm with you. The alarm muscle. Okay, so I'm about to make a mistake and my yeah. alarm muscle goes off to tell me not to do that? Exactly, or something bad's gonna happen. Anything that would alarm you. Oh, so okay. it's like Spidey senses. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's like <laughs> shitty Stanley. No. It's totally different. Yeah. It's no. totally different. It's, it's, totally it's totally legally different. distinct. Yeah. <laughs> legally distinct, oh. original product. I didn't steal it or nothing. But listen, you're, when you're up in that booth and you're watching a play or something and somebody's gonna, gonna pop you, you're gonna be glad you had a, that alarm. But what's it called? Alarm muscle? <laughs> <laughs> He's okay. like, I'm with you. Right. Alarm muscle. All right. What if everyone in the world was screaming and singing your praises? Not just because you're the greatest dictator to ever do it, but because they're set to the sickest fucking bass line and guitar riff and the banging drums that you've ever fucking heard. Baby, I'm talking about faith rock. And not Christian oh. rock. It's legally distinct from that. It's rock and roll, an entire genre dedicated to singing the praise of Ryan Haley. Uh. Every band, they are singing about your praises. Ryan Haley, he's the best around. Ryan Haley, he'll put you in the motherfucking ground. He's a great big Ryan, a very busy Ryan, but he makes time for me. For yeah, me. he's a great big Ryan, <laughs> a very busy Ryan, Ryan, but he makes time, time for me. For me. Yeah. Okay, I can get into that. Faith Rock, it is an entire genre based around how amazing you are and why we should all put our faith in you without any question whatsoever. I'm loving this. This is great. It's not gonna do numbers on Spotify, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's gonna do fucking numbers. I own Spotify, I'm a dictator. There Spotify. are dictators in this world that already have songs about themselves. So we need to think about things that can make you different in the ruling world. And like, you're gonna get babes. You're gonna get a lot of babes. Goddamn right and I am. They're going to talk about, you know, 
the, the sex stuff that they've done with you. They have signed NDAs. Uh, They're not allowed to okay. talk about that. Excuse me. Ryan, excuse mistake me. worm. Uh, yeah. Mistake yeah. worm. Sorry, I just sneeze because I'm allergic to lies. And I'm allergic to when people yeah. lie to my... Well, you're lying to me? This is my officer of lies. No, no, no. Every dictator that I know has had dirty balls. So we <laughs> have created <laughs> ball soap. <laughs> How the hell do you know that? What is it called, ball soap? Yeah. So wait a minute, yeah. let me get this straight. <laughs> do you want to be known as the dictator with the cleanest balls? Because then you'll go down in history. Now, you're saying that that wouldn't just happen already? No. Okay. You don't want to be known as the dictator with dirty balls. I don't, you're right yeah. about that. No. <laughs> Consider ball soap. I'm gonna, yeah, between a rock Clean and hard balls, place. hard dick. Oh, oh, is that your tagline? The tagline might have done it for me. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Elise? Oh, Ryan, I come to you now at this hour uh -huh. with grave news. Oh, no. Um, as your, um, what did you call me? Your lie. My officer of lies. Officer of lies. <laughs> I have uh, heard whispers. Oh, shit. Um, my liege, uh, amongst the uh, the mistake worm and the faith rock followers, they conspire against you. The the mistake worm is tired of taking the fall. A they mutiny? they conspire to mutiny and poison your ball soap. <gasps> and um, this problem needs to be exterminated immediately with a fire nest. <laughs> I, Explain yourself, officer of lies. Well. We do not entertain our opponents, we destroy them immediately, sending them directly to the fire nest. Oh, so this is like basically a giant torture contraption. The wax of the ball soap will serve as kindling. <laughs> the fire nest? Yeah, just so we're clear, you can choose two winners for this. Can I? Can I <laughs> uh, uh, sir, may I? Yes, my peasant. This is a limited time offer. If you buy the the mistake worm today, I'll go ahead and throw in a clock whistle. Oh, I forgot you could do that. I so, so here's the thing. Wait, it's it's like a regular clock, but every time it hits the hour, instead of chiming, it whistles. Oh, shit. Ryan, Ryan, yes? if you get Faith Rock, I have something else for you. Danger pill. When they storm your office, you take it fucking dead. Okay. You will feel no pain. I get it immediately. You okay. get it immediately. Ryan, you, only you got go with Faith Ryan, Rock. with this offer, do you love the mummy? Yeah, the Brendan Fraser film? Yeah, the money. Yeah, hey, are you shitting uh, me? I'm a if, dictator. If people do not listen to you, consider Insect Night. Just okay, scare I will. Them. Jacob, what else Everywhere. you got for me, huh? Uh, I got a bell trap. Uh, in case, you know, <laughs> if somebody walks into your office and you're sleeping, they knock over the bells. <laughs> This but you, just, you hear those bells, danger pill, danger pill. Danger if you had a, well, if you had an alarm muscle, then you wouldn't have to worry about anything about that. Mm -hmm. This is me appealing to Ryan Haley, the man, dirt art. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's it. You know what? I just, language. I just want to remind you. I know that we've had a lot of pitches out, and you're, uh, you know, you're very busy, but you always make time for me to wash your. Oh, that is true. Can you, I get some you, of that? You've been listening to your, <laughs> your faith <laughs> rock. The now here, rock. here's the thing. I love all of these. Genuinely, my people. If you don't pick me, I'm taking my so, danger pill. My runner up. Sorry, James, but his mistake worm. <laughs> I wish I had one, but I'm unfortunately gonna go with Faith Rock! Yeah, my own music. music genre, are you shitting me? Hell yeah. Mm. Let's go. Wow, nice job, everybody. Um, we all won one. I won! No. Ryan won! Oh. Ryan won! <laughs> no! I, got, I got two! <laughs> what was that? Say that louder? I didn't know you said Ryan never I, wins I, games. Say it as confidently as you did say, last time. Yeah. What did you say? We all won one. Did we all we, win? At least, did we all win? Yeah, we did. We uh, all won. won. Back. Everyone Hold up the card you won. No one can lie more, to me. More importantly, we were all extremely profitable. Yay. Nice job, everyone. We sold you snake oil. I like oil. this game. Y'all come back now, you hear?